Okay, so here we are again. I have uh, SDR running here, cubic SDR, and I'm on 80 meters 3.6. So what I want to do now is try to sight in or calibrate this PTO VFO. And I'm close, but no cigar, so 80 meters here. Um, I'm going to go to transmit mode now. And yeah, you'll see I get a carrier. It's uh, probably 3.6, uh, almost 3.7. So, so how do you fix that? Uh, this guy is on 3.6 pretty much. 80 meters. Yeah, there we go. So we're right on 3.6. So there's a few things we can do. And I think the easiest one to do would be to simply set these two wheels to well would that work no it wouldn't work oh uh, I got six and I'm roughly at let's see here what's the easiest way to get out of this quarter conundrum here uh, so I'm at about three dot six six three dot six we got six what? Let's take a look. Okay. Three dot six five. Three dot six five. So that means that. I would need to move the other wheel a bit. And it depends how close I am with the PTO. Let's see here. So what I could do, 3.65. I need a way to uh, set this phone down so it records and shows you guys what's going on here. Maybe I can put the phone on the radio itself. And try it that way. Let's try that. All right, the phone is resting on the radio. The iPhone 7, the old iPhone 7, the old faithful phone. Recording still. We're still going here. So I got two hands to use now, which is really handy to have. There's a reason why God gave you two hands, so you can use them, right? So. I'm set here to 3.6 and I think we can just change the PTO. So I'm going to take off the frequency knob here. Oops. Turn this thing back on, transmit. And I'm seeing 3.7. I'm turning the PTO now, turning it down in frequency here. Turning the wear meter down. And why am I getting a beep here? I'm on 3.6. Okay, so that's good. So I was really close. So now we're headed. So that's how to do it. So watch what I'm doing here. I'm, uh, let's see what I'm on here. What frequency am I on here? I am on 3.6. Okay, here we go. So I'm showing 3.6 here exactly. Pretty much. I took the knob off and I'm rotating this now for zero beat. And that's it, it's done. So if you get it close, that's what you can do. And hopefully I'm not too far, the pin isn't too far from the uh, stop. It is pretty close. So I don't have much leeway for mistakes here. 
And you might want to take the gear off and move it a tooth or, or so. Um, let's try that, because I don't like being in the pin. That, that doesn't give us room for, in the future for errors. So it's running a bit high, so I'm going to take it down one notch here. Down one notch. And undo the gears here and take it down a notch. There, I took it one gear click. So now, actually, I want to go the other way. I want to go two clicks the other way. Mistake. Okay. One click, two clicks. There. There. Now we'll let it click back in. There it is. So I'm still a bit off now. It's worse than it was. Let's see here. So I'll set it down to 3.6. Turn the PTO until it's right. Take a peek in here, see how closely I'm to the pin. Okay, so I'm concerned about the pin on the gear and the pin on the on the PTO. Worm gear. Because that I want those to be far apart and they're not. So I'm gonna go two clicks the other way. Click, click. Okay, there. Now I'm going to set it back to. Well, that doesn't work very well. Anyway, yeah, it doesn't. It didn't work out too well. I kind of got this right on the pin, which I don't like. There, that's pretty close. But see, I, if I turn it only like 20 degrees, I hit the pin, so. How can we get around that? Um, I'd have to take it apart and desynchronize these things which I was afraid of that, so. Gotta pull it apart again. That's why this thing is out of the radio, because this is rather painful. Lost everything, hit a short, damn it. All right, lost one of my wires here, or lost a coax wire. So I got nothing, let's see here, put it back on. And see if we can get fired up again. Okay, it's still alive. So, what can I do here? I'm gonna go. I'd like it to be about like that. It's still looking off. Let's click it one, click over. So I'm looking at the level part of the PTO here and I'm trying to make the 100 level with that. Do you see what I'm doing here? So there, now, come on, click in. Okay, if you look at the bottom of the 100, the levelness of the 100 and levelness of this Part, that's probably pretty much straight up so so this is working it's just a matter of if if in the future you want to adjust frequency without taking the whole radio apart again taking this thing out you want to have this thing about 180 degrees to either side of the stop pin I can go about 20 degrees that way and a whole pile either way Actually, that might be good enough. I don't like it, but the thing's all pretty much synced in now, so. Actually, no, I'd like it more like that. So I, I think I will take it apart for a second here. Let's, so let's do that. This is grim, but you can't move these wheels unless this gear's out. You can't move them independently unless that's out. So 
I'm just going to take this back out. And once they uncouple, you can move them around again. Okay. Okay, it's all back out, unfortunately, but there it is. And of course that falls out too. Okay, let's get these things lined up. So I'll go back like that. I'm hoping that'll work. And put it back together. So as we remember to put it back together, we put the gear in here like this. And we just put it back together like that. With your finger like that. And I'll hold it straight up. Don't mess around with the uh, worm gear. And slide it back on. Okay. Gear's not engaged. Whoop, see that? Falling on the ground. Okay. Let's engage the gear again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting kind of late here. This is getting kind of tedious. Getting kind of tedious, people. All right, on it goes. And there's that damn pin. Okay, so let's get the other gear to engage now by grabbing onto this and slipping it in. In, in, in. And come on, there. Now it should click in and work. No work. What did I do wrong this time? It's all engaged, but nothing. Okay, because why? That looks wrong. That's going to go further. Getting too tired. Okay, that part's right. I'm just not driving this gear here. Okay, not sure what I'm doing wrong here. From this angle, how does it look? It doesn't look good. This gear is not cooperating. Okay, there, now it's synced in, finally. Okay, so what does that give us? How are we doing now? Okay, there's the 100. It doesn't look too good to me. Let's go back on here. Anyway, as you can see, this is a pain in the neck. Or a pain in the you-know-what. It's just a pain, but... That's how you do it. All right, we knocked a wire off. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Nope, we're still connected. Okay, we still got some plate current there, a tiny bit, so. Okay, so let's. Okay, so there's the 100, and there's the zero. I would like it to be there. So I don't like how this worked out. I'm going to shift it one position left. Okay, there it is. Okay, the 100 now is level. I knocked off my PTO signal. There we go. So. Okay, we're pretty darn close now. Let's, uh, Take it right to zero. Take off the knob. Turn the PTO until it nets. And now I'm right against the pin, so that's bad. 
I went the wrong way, apparently. So I probably gotta take this part and move the disc the other way. Let's do that. Yeah, as you can see, this is painful. How can I get around this? No, this is gonna stay in sync, actually. Okay, there I can move it without affecting it. That's pretty cool how that works out. So I guess I can change the gears with it not connected. Just with the knob off. That's interesting. Okay, so... Okay, that's looking good. Now if I could just move this one click, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna move the, the 100 is not level with the uh, PTO deck. So I'm gonna move it one click like that. And it looks level. All right, so let's put the knob back on and see how it tracks. This is 3.6 on 80 meters, 3.6 megahertz. All right, the knob's tight. Let's see what happens here. It doesn't work. Why not? Are we, no, oh, we're not clicked in, sheesh, okay. Let's click in this gear here. Move it, move it down. Now it's clicked in. No, it's not. Okay, move the knob down further because the gears went down toward the PTO. And this thing has like a little tail coming out. You don't want to bump that thing. That little tail has to be kept safe. So, we're really close now. We're dead nuts on, pretty much. All right, so do I care about, okay, let, let's see how it tracks. So, what if I go to say frequency at 3.1, if I go to 3.3, that's 3. no, that's 3.6. Let's go to 3.9. I'm going to change the frequency now on the uh, computer, on the SDR to 3.9. 3.6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, there's 3.9. Let's move this thing to 3.9 and see how it tracks. 3.9, okay. 3.6. Three dot eight, three dot nine. That should be it right there. Nope. I don't hear it. Okay, so I may need to tune my pre selector here for some signal. Where I lost my cable again. Cable's on. And let's see if we can get something here. Up in the frequency. I got no signal. There's something. Okay, turn the power down. All right. So yeah, that looks like it's right on the money, pretty much. Let's see. Three dot nine. Three dot nine, or is it? Not really. No. Okay, three, four, five, six, that's no fun. So is this thing slipping or what? Three dot nine. 
3.5 plus 4 is 3.9. Well, I know why it's not working. Okay, yeah, that's 3.9 right there. So I don't have any signal. It's netting in here at 1, 3.9. It's saying, hmm. That's no fun. Let's go to 3.8. Okay, 3.8. I actually got a couple signals here. So that's 3.2. Okay, 5, 6, 7. And I wonder if I had a harmonic or something. Let's see if I can pick this thing up. Yeah, you want the one that's rising there, and that thing is definitely rising when I turn the drive up. So that's the real signal right there. So, three dot eight. So it's way off. Maybe I had the wrong signal here. Okay, three dot eight. So that's pretty high in the band. The PTO should be pretty high yeah the PTO is yeah looks about right so when this thing goes this way it will go up in frequency because you're pulling out the uh, the solid core from the coil and it will go up in frequency so that's about right okay let's make a major change here then so we're on 3 dot mm, 3 dot 8 megahertz so let's change this baby to 3 dot 8 and see how it goes Luckily, we're zeroed. So luckily, it's saying 3.2 there. 3.2. So I have to go to like, let's see, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. It should be up at 400 there. Let's try it out. Let's go to 400. How can it be so far off? Okay, 400. And now we're not zeroed. Okay, let's, let's. Okay. 3.8. Let's go here. Click it over one. That. Okay. Let's now turn the PTO until it comes on to 3.8 by taking the knob off and turning the PTO warm gear. So you can see this is a really tedious process. I had a better luck on my other rig. This one's like, holy crap. Okay, let's see if we can get it netted down at 3.8. I see the signal. Nope, can't do it. I'm out of the band pass. So let's put it in the middle. And I gotta take it apart and get it right. So I'll take it apart. Take this off, I think. Yep, take that off. Take it out. Now I can move it to 3.8. Okay, I'm seeing 3.8 here. Okay, let's change this to 3.8. Okay, I'm dialing in 3.8. That's gonna be 3.5 plus 4, 400, so that's good. Let's check our 400. Yeah, there's our 400 right there. Let's get it so it's level. Okay, we're level there. Now, let's move it to zero. So actually, we want to get this thing zeroed again. Let's see if I can move this one. Yes, I can. Take this to zero. 
Uh, it's still moving, darn it. Okay, and disengage these gears. Take this back to 400. Disengage again. Disengaged. Go back to zero. It's still engaged. Okay, well, fine. Let's move it. Okay, we're at 400.0. We're level. I'm really happy with that because I can go this way a good bit. I can go that way a good bit. So we're not on the peg anymore, the pin. Now we're netted again, so this looks good. And let's get the gears to mesh. They're not meshing yet. Turn this a bit. Until they click in. They're not clicked yet. They're just about clicked. Let's click in this gear here. There, it's clicked in now. Okay, so what does that mean? It means we're doing pretty good. All right, now we'll put this rubber piece back on. We'll put the um, frequency knob back on this guy here. And, boy, it didn't like that. Okay, tighten it up. So there's no easy way to change the frequency on these on these C line PTOs. The old one, you you could swivel the uh, what they call it a radical or something. But okay, so this this is pretty unstable. That's that's pretty much nuts on now. So am I showing this to you? Yes, I am. Okay, so let's let's go to three dot uh, on on the SDR. We'll go to three dot nine on 80 meters, 3.9. That should be right smack at 500. Don't see it. Don't see the thing at all. So. It's coming in right there. Uh, I got a major malfunction in this radio, I think. Just can't get it right. Okay, there's 3.9 right there. And that's way off. Let me get some more current here instead. Okay, there's the real signal there. That should be right smack at 500. Okay, let's tune it again. Yeah, there's the real signal right there. Where are you? You're way off. So that's showing a good bit off. Okay, in theory, I should be able to go down, wonder, down to 400 and it should work. Let's see. So that's 3.9. I'm going to go to 3.8 again. 3.8 on SDR. And that should prove it to be 450. Should go right there. Okay, that's acting correctly. That thing's really going. Okay, let's go to 350. So right now we're at 3.85678. So let's see, 5678. That should be like 300, I would think. Let's go down one more. 350, right about there. Pick it up. Well, that's got some juice to it. 
Okay, where is this one at? That's coming in at three dot seven. Okay. Yeah, radio looks kind of funky here. Let's go down. I want SSB mode too. What CW? Let's go on tune mode. And that lost it. Yeah, I think the radio has issues, so I'm going to stop the video. It doesn't seem to be working like it should. i got some harmonics here or something. Something's really, really gone bad for me here. Not really sure what. But I can't see the tune on this anymore. Oh, radio is just crapped out. Let's see, sideband switch. Let's see, sideband switch. Is it this one? Yeah. Can't seem to make a go of it. Can't get any tuning in this thing. All right, well, that's it for this video. <laughs> that's probably how to calibrate it when your radio works right. But when it doesn't, good luck on that. Have a great day.